Hi everyone and welcome back to a new episode of the Angular Spring Boot course. Today we're going to talk about data transformation via pipes. Now, a pipe takes data as input and transforms it to a desired output. Well, to, to be more specific, imagine that you receive a date from the server in this format and you want to display to your users. Well, this format uh, doesn't do us any good because although it contains a lot of information, it's not readable for our end users. So we want to transform this into something more friendly. Let's say you want to transform it this into like into a date of this format. Uh, we can uh, take things further with strings. You have a button, you have the button's action, uh, execute action, but you want to make it you know more powerful, more visible. You know, you want to write it in uppercase. Again, we have an input and this is our desired output or transformation. The same thing goes for currency. Uh, we have an amount from the server, which is just a number, but because we have an e-commerce application, we want to display that information, you know, as, as money. So you might want to transform this into Canadian dollars, uh, 126.80. Now, all of these examples are transformations of input data to something that is more readable, more understandable by our user. So a pie basically is a transformation. We have a flow of data from uh, left to right. We have input and then data passes in through a pipe and it gets transformed into an output. Okay. Uh, if you look at an Angular example, we can see here that we have this class, currency component, and we have an amount, which is a number. Okay, we receive from a server, 026, and we want to display it to our users, but we want to display it as currency. Well, to use pipes, we have a construct like this. So we have a simple binding. If we just display amount in this one-way binding, we will get 026 but we don't want that. We want to display this as a Canadian dollar currency. So we use the pipe operator, which is this one, uh, this vertical line. And then on the right, uh, we can specify the transformation that we want to apply on our input. In our case, it's currency. And even more, we can actually pass parameters to this transformation. So in our case, it's Canadian dollars, but we could have euros or pounds. And once you put this all together, the output is not going to be 0 0.26, but it's going to be Canadian dollars 0 0.26. Now, this is the basic mechanism of how pipes work in Angular. So we have an input, pipe operator, the transformation, and the pipe parameters. And in Angular, we have some built-in pipes, like dates, uh, pipes for uppercase, lowercase, pipes for currency, for percentage. And in the, in the next episode, you're going to see how we can create our own pipes. But for now, we'll just stick to the built-in ones. So let's get our hands dirty and write some code. We're back to our noted application. And if we hit F12 and make a reload, we'll look a little bit at some, sorry, hit F12, reload. We'll look a bit about at other node properties. So we have all the nodes and we see that the node besides text, title, and ID also has a last modified on property, which is you know, a date. And I want to display that date here in a friendly format. We can go to IntelliJ. We can make a one-way binding here, and we want to bind to the last modified on property. And now we hit save, and we will get our changes. And we have this long date written at the bottom of our node. Well, although we understand, you know, what this is, uh, for a user, this is not very friendly. It's not very readable. And to fix that, we need to transform this input data into something that is better for our users. And this is where pipes come into play. Going back to IntelliJ, we can use a pipe, pipe operator, and then we can apply the date transformation on this last modified on input. Okay, we hit save, our application gets reloaded and we have all nodes and now we can see that the date is displayed in a much better uh, format. But even still, we don't have hours and we don't have the minutes of the update. And so we have to tune our pipe even further. 
and luckily for us we can do this by using you know a pipe parameters so we can pipe we can add in pipe parameters and in the case of the date transformation we can add in the date format well we want to have day month year hour and minute and now if we hit save and take a look here we have our date in the desired format so day month year hour and minute cool so this is how we use angular built-in pipes to shape you know the inputs that we want to display to our users now before we close i just want to make one remark we use pipes to transform the data we want to display so it kind of makes sense that you know we have to use pipes for one-way or for read-only bindings only if we apply pipes on you know a two-way binding it, it doesn't really make any sense because you're also modifying the data that we have so you know pipes you know are best used for this kind of data transformations but you know for display purposes only so j just keep that in mind okay and now that we saw how the angular built-in pipes work in the next episode we'll take a look at custom pipes and we'll build our own pipe and apply it to some input data before we close i would like to remind you to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more software development tutorials that will sharpen your programming skills just go to the romanian coder youtube page and click on the subscribe button also, if you found this video useful, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. If you have any comments, thoughts or ideas for new courses, just put them in the comment section at the end of this video because I would love to get feedback from you guys. You can also find me on Twitter at RomanianCoder and you can also check out my blog www.RomanianCoder.com Until next time, have a great day and write amazing code. Goodbye!